Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and today's video I'm going to show you how to fully optimize your low-end PC for maximum FPS in gaming here in 2022. I'm going to show you all of the most important steps you should definitely do and you will see an instant FPS increase of at least like 100 FPS guys. I also prepared for you a FPS boost pack which is going to be on my discord. I'm just going to explain everything super fast and easy for you to understand and I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If so please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and without any further ado, let's get straight into this topic. Hey guys, in this first step, what I want you to do is pretty much go into your Windows search bar and type in apps until you find apps and features, system settings. Open it up and just real quick guys, you know, go over this list and of course uninstall all the applications where you already know that you don't need them on your PC, you know, uh, something like Bluestacks here, which has two gigabytes. I can straight up uninstall it, you know, I don't need it anymore here on my PC. And actually the freer your main hard drive is, the faster also your PC is going to be. So therefore, this is like a first quick step. Then we're gonna go here onto privacy and security guys. And then we have something like find your device which is like a tracking service you know for your pc um first of all disable it then we can see stuff like general where we have like led websites show my locally relevant content and all that stuff all these services which are going to actually turn off guys because yeah they're just running in the background slowing down your pc and you can pretty much do it with anything which is right now here in this category diagnostics and feedback you know let's just say that your pc crashes it's gonna send like some diagnostics data over to microsoft um, for them to improve Windows, you know, so they can work on all these issues. Turn it off, we don't have to care about it. Just simply turn off as much as possible here under Windows permission, guys. And the same also for app permissions, yeah? We have your location, turn it off. Then we have stuff like, I don't know, maybe like camera and microphone is like sort of important if you're utilizing like Discord or OBS or some stuff like that. But notifications, turn it off. Then we're gonna scroll down here again. Account info, turn it off, all that stuff, you know what I'm saying. Then we have calendar, never used it on my PC, turn it off. Just simply try to actually like turn off as many processes as possible here in the background guys, under privacy and security. And then we're already done here with this first step. And yeah guys, in this next step, I already prepared here for you a gaming optimization registry tweak pack with a ton of useful tweaks in there and a program which we're gonna be utilizing to actually make sure that our PC is running at maximum performance for gaming. And what I want you to do is pretty much click on the first link in the description where you can find my Discord server guys. On there are almost 70,000 people, so therefore if you have any issues, always make sure to go in here, you know, you have like a normal general chat where you can ask questions or stuff like that. And then you're just simply gonna scroll down until you find video related and in here is going to be this pack. I'm going to put it after I upload this video on here on the Discord. So therefore you can get it from there and straight up download it. And it's gonna look like this here, Gaming Optimization Registry Tweaks. And what you're going to do is right click onto it and actually extract all of it here onto your desktop. And then you're first of all gonna have clean junk files, comment tweaks, gaming optimization registry tweaks, and quick CPU. And I'm just gonna explain it all step by step, guys. And in the first place, what we're going to do is click here onto number one, clean junk files. And in there, we have now here Excel, which is pretty much gonna make it super easy for you guys um, to clean all the junk off your main hard drive, which is gonna be for most of you, I guess, C, you know, that's like the normal one on windows we're gonna click here onto ok and then it's actually gonna scan here our whole entire pc you know for files which we don't use anymore you know windows upgrade log files then we have here temporary internet files um then we have some other stuff here probably i don't know delivery optimization files then we also have here my recycling bin which has right now 447 megabytes so therefore i'm going to clean that one as well and if you're now going to click here onto ok and we selected everything we want to clean it's going to now delete all of these files here from our pc just freeing up some nice space you know maybe like for some people it can be like up to 10 gigabytes i've seen already just making sure that our pc is nice and clean and it's going to run like properly and with that said we're pretty much done here for the first step i'm just going to let it run you know in the background and then we're going to continue and yeah guys once we're done with that we're now going to take a look at quick cpu guys which is a super insane tool which is going to make sure that our pc is going to run at a 100% while gaming and you can see already the installation you know just simply go through it install this program and then once you open it up it's gonna look exactly like this here I know this looks a little bit complicated in the first place but what we pretty much only care about are these options down there you know the rest is really unnecessary guys it's just gonna show you like all the sets of your CPU which you're using right now here for me it's a Ryzen 7 5800X and you can see on the top right that I have 16 cores guys and if it should say for you here cores puck guys this is super bad this means pretty much that some of your CPU cores are in standby mode. If it doesn't say that, that's already good. But we're still gonna make sure that we first of all put core parking all the way to 100%, frequency scaling as well to 100%, 
turbo boost also to 100% and performance as well to 100% and then you're gonna select here the quick CPU scheme power plan you know this one here and then we're gonna click here on to apply real quick and you can see all the changes are successfully applied guys super nice then we're also going to click here on to maximum performance real quick guys and you can see energy performance max preferred everything on maximum click on to accept and we also changed that one, just making sure that our CPU is really running at the highest speed possible, especially while gaming, you know. So that way we can make sure that we get max FPS boost here on our low end PC. And once we're done with that, we can already close this program. And what we're now going to do is pretty much go into a Windows search bar, type in energy until we find edit power plan. Just simply click onto it. Then we see here on the top already power options. And there we already have quick CPU scheme enabled guys. And it says here automatically balances performance with energy, but we just put it in the program manually to maximum performance guys. So don't be worried there. And you're just gonna make sure that you actually have the blue dot here on quick CPU scheme. You know, that's the right one guys. That's the like best one for gaming at the moment. Moment, especially as we just optimized it so just make sure that one is really selected and now you can uninstall already quick CPU you know you don't need it anymore and with that so we're done here with this step as well and in this next step guys we're now going to click here onto common tweaks and those are just some tweaks overall to make sure that your PC is running faster and all the junk files are actually deleted first of all we're gonna click on the disable useless activities therefore it's just gonna make sure that pretty much like all the background processes which we don't need actually get disabled right now and then we click onto important tweaks that bad and then you can see guys tons of services are getting disabled in the background now pretty much once you click onto it which is also super nice you know unnecessarily processes running 24 7 in the background which can actually decrease our fps in games which we of course don't want and then we're already done here with this step now as well and we're gonna straight up move over here to gaming optimization registry tweaks and in here guys we now have a bunch of registry tweaks which are just overall as well gonna like speed up our pc make sure that our keyboard has like the lowest amount of latency you know the data queue sizes tweaks here low latency mode then we have also a max fps mouse data queue size and what we know pretty much going to do is click through each and every single one of them and press here onto yes and then it's gonna look like this here i don't know what's bugged behind but yeah the keys and values have been changed guys and you're going to do it for each and every single one of these here guys real quick you know disable maintenance this is like windows updates disable power throttling also super important Disable Windows telemetry services running in the background, also important. These just create like temporary files, which we of course don't want because this is gonna slow down our PC. Then we also have stuff here like, I don't know, keyboard data queue size on the highest one. So we have the lowest amounts of input delay on our keyboard and the same as well with our mouse guys. Yeah, we're gonna click onto it. Then we also have maintain low latency as well, gonna apply that one low latency mode in our windows um, registry itself also gonna enable that one and max fps and once you're pretty much done with that guys and you click for each and every single one of them your pc is gonna be fully optimized for maximum fps especially in gaming and also like a normal usage you will definitely see a huge difference and if you guys are maybe a little bit skeptical in the first place trust me i know what i'm talking about but you can still of course create a restore point in the first place you know but yeah, pretty much once we're done with that here, you already fully optimized your PC for maximum performance. Now we're gonna close it and we're done here with the steps. And yeah guys, with that said, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this way. I'd so, so much. And if you still have any more questions, feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below. I try to answer as many as possible. And with that said, have a great day, have a great night whenever you're watching this. And until next time, stay awesome. I'm out. Peace. That shit too before it, come get inside. Dami Gucci Lee, come take a dive. Kill that shit, but this don't kill the vibe. Yeah, we the ones they talking about.